already? Yes. Ah, perfect. <laughs> oh, hold on, your microphone is off. There you are. Okay, so, here we go. Okay. And they both arrive at the same time. Let's see, we have, remember, 10 ma uh, female teams and 3 groups, and this is the G group with 4, meaning uh, Amaga, Orgas, Macos, I mean Connecticut Markets, and Elvetia. Okay, the other two groups have 3. So, so far, Orcas, if I remember correctly, has won against uh, Elvetia yesterday. They played already twice. Let me check, because after, yeah, they, they won both games against Elvetia, so so far they are the first of the group. And Marcos had lost uh, against Elvetia, and I think they play also against Amaga, and they lost both, okay, so... Okay, there's an attack on the goal, and really putting pressure. And defend from the Marcos was successful, but Orko is attacking again. Another attack. A few seconds ago. Now they are with three Orcas at the goal. Coming from the back. And still keeping the ball. Attack from the open side. And yeah. Okay, the other first goal was there. Just expecting a ball. Great. First goal for the Colombian team. Then we have uh, the fans of the Macos and Orcas cheering up. Uh, a ver, Colombia, ¿dónde está el fan club? Parece que es muy temprano. It's very early. Yeah, Morcas. <laughs> and here we go. So, um, Remember, Marcos, I think, is the, one of the youngest teams uh, in the competition for our over the female. That was a very nice pass to the back, and we have a counter-attack, two blues against two, three whites, and is pushing against the floor, and the back of the goal is up, and that's a goal, and I, I who was number one? Number one is, hold on. Where is the Orca? Uh, ah, that's... Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, um, two goals already. So this is... Um, if this um, speed is capped, we will have a high number of goals at the end. Yeah, I think the Marcos need to see how they stop the attacks a little bit better. I mean, they have been defending very good yesterday. Uh, so let's see if although that they, both teams had already two games. One of the Orcas players is around the basket uh, to maybe perform one of the uh, Marla or the Sornillador. They still are in possession of the ball and I think it's Silvia, the number one. And they are two against the goalie, but one of Marcos were trying to stop. Something happened, let's see, is apparently holding with that ball. The thing is, you know, we don't have even seen this yesterday. Orcas, um, the Colombians, not just the Orcas, but the Colombian style, they uh, do a little attack, attack two with the ball. I mean, one holds the ball and the other helps pushing. And so far as I realize that the referees here are taking that as the one that is not really in possession of the ball, is like pushing it, even though both have the the hands on the ball. Sometimes they, they just have the hands on each other. So I, a few times I yesterday was not, it didn't count because of this tactics. So I would like to talk to the referees and see if this is is this the just um, um, sanctioning or what uh, why? Because otherwise I didn't see really that they, they were holding because both were attacking. Three blues, one white, and. The goal is fighting. Being pull up, the next uh, Orca is having the ball passing. I mean, they're doing a good job in going in. Ah, where? Penalty. Apparently, it looks like the Marcos goalie had to show it in the basket there. 
it was three with, it was a very uh, um, um, hard uh, attack and you know even if you don't see the, the shoulder but the girl is not moving <laughs> it's like sucked into then the, the assumption is they were holding somehow so penalty va a haber un penalty para las chicas de orcas eh, aparentemente la portera de Marcos es, tenía el hombro un poquito adentro y bueno vamos a ver quién va a ejecutar este penalti quién es la 20 ¿Dónde es el número? ¿21 es eso? Silvia, Silvia Paz Looks like, sí, creo que sí, ya lo pescas A ver The Colombians have a style to go and grab around in the, the baskets and the kind of amount but it was very, she's very long, very tall so she's a bit like a octopus like, yes. so it wasn't went around <laughs> the legs and the arms, it really looked like an octopus but uh, that's and that's that, really uh, a difference if you're small and tiny or if you're uh, like an orc <laughs> no, no if you're like an octopus yeah octopus yeah she's super tall she's i think one of the fellas uh, yeah. in the team and you, and and really, like you know bones. exactly <laughs> like really like a mantis they should could be called mantas <laughs> yeah. and what, the orca team is more experienced than the marcos marcos uh, played last year as well and this year, oh, that pass was intercepted. Yeah. There's four blue coming on to three whites. Now the white defender there. The goalie is not alone, but on the other side. Drop down and another chance. Still concentrated, the orcas. And being down, waiting for the ball, dropping down. So that's really position playing. See, she was there already waiting. Ah, you see, it looks, yeah. I think it's a shoulder again. I know, yeah, a bit. No, go, ah, there was a shoulder, you didn't even see the bolt going in. <laughs> I was looking into the shoulder of the goalie again. <laughs> Three minutes left for the first half of the game. Four goals for Orcas. Okay. Let's see if Marcos can maybe find a way to come through. Um, the Colombian girls are very fighting, but the, the funny thing is, uh, a, a lot of the players of the Marcos are also uh, Colombians that move to the US, as um, they have also similar tactic uh, of playing. You know? um, it's a yeah. difference in the level of the training and yeah the definitely definitely uh, and the goalies alone yeah she kept wow great recovery ah that's a tricky if you i i that was a pity there was no one and passed to the back with a, so uh, a strong team that is so fast and, and the counter attack is super risky because when the chances to get a goal from that uh, situation is quite high so so far they have resolved quite pretty well yeah resolving some dangerous situations but still it is a sign of training level condition concentration experience and the macros seem to just react and not control the game no exactly it's reacting to the game there's normally in situations like this uh, when there's one of the teams that established the tactic if they, they can do that and then the other team needs to see how to be able to break that because the moment a team is in the tactic and in the flow then they're like a machine it goes one goal two yep. goals three goals and i think now they're fighting with more that more for checking in the middle field and wow one of the others almost wrecked through with the counter attack the next one receives the pass but it's intercepted already in the moment so that's those small little steps are important because then the, the speed goes a bit less and then the defenders have more time to get into better position but um, still i mean we have to say that the, the orcas are very consequent and now they stole the basket yeah. and that's a goal mm, can you see the numbers when you see single person playing really good actions in the macros but they are single person really experienced really professional yeah. really looking great and doing the job and then when they pass 
there's no one contributing as well in the same level? Not exactly, not as many as like, because we have the feeling it's like they had one more play in the wood or somehow they have it more consistent. But also because they are putting the pace in the match and that means when you are reacting, you are behind your, in your pace, you are on the pace of the other team and when you are on the pace of the other team then you cannot catch your breath as much as if you are the one right. you know pacing up and, and attacking normally mm. the, the, the team that is defending most of the time gets exhausted because it's a combination of it's really exhausting to react to the behavior of the other team plus it's also the motivation in your head because you are being attacked constantly and also wears you down you know when you are not able you know when you play like every time defending against stronger teams and you think that oh please get that ball away from me you know in your head all the time. <laughs> it's a difference if you're just reacting it's really more stressing mm. and putting you down yes at the end and so you need to see how many experienced player you need in the team to to make the chance for new starters and younger players possible to to expand to train to yeah develop in a team what do yeah. you think how many experience what what do you think is a balance experience and you want uh, well i would say two fair experience and one fair new one meaning if you are 15 10 experience from both maybe five bit older because they also have the experience that older than say middle 30s to even middle 40s <laughs> then <laughs> the five, five experience between middle 20s and middle 30s because they have a few but are like faster mm -hmm. and then Stronger. five around 20s and really new that maybe so you can always have at least four in water, you know, they're even too bad a bit more nervous because those, they don't really have super nervous. And I think that's a, a super combination because those five are getting experience, those in the middle, and, and those that are the yeah. oldest one maybe is the last competition, but they can provide for a very stable base because then you, you know, you've been in the, in the situation many times. And I think that, and that's what I love rugby for because you don't need, like in most of the sport where your career is gone after you're 25, where right? you're very too old and then you're, you're old. Exactly. <laughs> you're new. Like you're old. All ages like. and all weights and all size can provide to add to the team. Can so that's, that, I right. think this is fantastic. Really great. Most in of the, the training situation, like home, you need those other guys to, to have some partners. It, exactly. Partner with. Um, it's really interesting because it's a lot of the players we have are like uh, the end the career in one of the other normal sports, let's call it, and then they start with us because then they don't have any more chances in the sport they apply because they got injured, because they got too old or too slow or whatever. Yeah. Well, so to be honest, it's very really hard when you're getting old to stay in the training. Responsibilities grow with the years as well, and yeah, yeah, <laughs> we love very too. But um, we see now five zero uh, for Orcas, and this is the second half. And let's see, Orcas are first in the ball and pass it to the uh, left. They're still in the middle, still in ball possession. Lilo is swimming towards the basket, pass it to the middle on the other side now. Marcos are good in the position. Let's see, maybe they talk already, they need to be a bit more conscious regarding the defense. And wow, great recovery in counter attack. Three Marcos are going toward the basket. And yeah, wow, wow <laughs> perfect, fantastic. The captain, go! I mean, that way the Yorkas slept a little bit. Oh. The orca slept a little bit, no streaming. Oh, sh um, but anyway, in the first continue. half of the second, in the first minute of the second half, the makers made a counter and get scored and scored. It was really great. It was it wasn't an empty basket. That they were they were really too self confident. You know, if I see the layout okay, and they those things. Now I think the orcas are. Uh, maybe I knew it themselves <laughs> because they slept that one, but I'm super happy for Marcos because any service called has been a fantastic defend and counter attack and uh, oh they went to the side and the next Marcos is trying to basket. cover the ball doesn't want to go in the head is in uh, that and uh, I was here I think that uh, that was uh, finally I mean that was coming and coming and coming yeah 
even, I mean, there was almost like a fall from the goalie because she was with the head inside the basket. You're not supposed to do that. And okay. so I think that probably the referees uh, probably um, let the attack continue. And it probably, if they wouldn't have uh, achieved the goal, they probably have to call it for penalty or something. And so 6 1, and this is the relation. They defended three times at in this situation. Yep. Really good. They saved it really few times, very good. Okay. But this is also that, that I know from, from, from my team, you know, when you get a goal like this because you knew that you were not paying attention, then after that, like, everyone is suddenly really awake and they're like, we <laughs> cannot let this not happen again. <laughs> you know? Yeah, then, but you're not using. No, 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 they're not. But using. Uh, anyway, but it's like, yeah. It is, um, that was, they, they really missed that. I mean, that was a mistake, as you can say. So confident, you say, okay. So great defending. I mean, the Marcos are m like look f much more into position. The, the forwards are helping the defenders, and so it's a bit more complicated for the attacker of Orcas to really have contact with the with the goalie. There's always someone in between. Uh, now it's empty. And another goal. A ver, Colombia. El chat está muy cansado. Están todos durmiendo. Uh, the, the streaming is not, uh, you, the light streaming, uh, uh, okay. Nearly seven minutes left. Not sure if anyone is able to hear us, even if you don't see anything. I don't know, I, I think when the streaming is, uh, is off, then they cannot, they don't have sound either. Sure. I think so. <laughs> Can't say number here. Can I look at full stuff? Okay. Uh, Ich, ich glaube, ich werde verschaut sein. Ich weiß nicht, ob die, die das mitgekriegt haben. Ich bin gleich wieder da. Ja. Ich fange wieder an zu reden. Okay, um, we are waiting to show on. I don't know if you can hear us. Sometimes I can hear that it's too loud. Ja, hin und her. Das sind gute strategische Ansätze, aber sie sind definitiv langsam. All right. Another attack from the Marcos. 
and it's going to surface in this one. Those teams have players in head players in position under scrum, waiting for the ball coming down. Now is only Orcas available there. Okay, so three minutes left. I hope you can see now. Uh, can you give us feedbacks if the streaming is working now? It looks like so. Uh, we have uh, the next attack from your team. The goal you recover the ball and do you have any more air, but drop the ball and the next Marcos players could recover it. That was a great saving. We are still above of the goalie of uh, the white team. And uh, the Colombian uh, just went out a little bit and now they're coming back with three. They're again on top. The ball just, you know, was past the goalie pretty much and then was a goal. So it's 10-1. For Orcas. I don't know, just uh, people in the chat, if you can give us any... Are we live? Can you see us? Can you hear us? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Huh? Oh, but you, yeah, if you can write... Uh, yeah, but one. I don't see the chat. Yeah, you don't have control of the chat. Ah, perfecto. Thanks. So now we have one and a half minutes to go, and uh, we were for a short moment in the Colombian half, but uh, counter attack, and I think that Sylvia that just passed the ball to the next one, and uh, ah, there was a little bit of uh, not ball control being controlled very much, and they're trying to attack, ah. but that's a few that's times happened. Like they lost and the ball. Yeah. yeah. What happened? Probably uh, oh, could be attacked on the head or maybe dangerous game. One minute left, second half, and then it's ten to one for the Orcas. Los últimos 40 segundos, Colombia, están todos dormidos. En el video es also. Everyone taking a nap for watching and cheering the teams up. 30 minutes, second left minutes, and an attack. Ah, that show was a bit deep. Yeah. And that was gold. Yeah, that was, you know, very really help from the second lady. Really, I think it was a good strategy. Because sometimes you have enough power to, to, lift, to lift the person up who's on the goal and then there's another hand helping you supporting yeah that's what people they do exactly they do that a lot um, and uh, they, they help each other uh, a lot like that uh, in in colombia as a tactic they have yeah so you don't see that a lot in, in the other european teams but so it's a good idea to make yes, the same um, I mean, uh, just on the one side of the basket and the other is on the other side waiting that the pass ball comes over yeah. pass through pass under the defender and then you are still alone to to lift up the goalie so having another person there to so help the fans yep even when you play as women against the men como le hicieron ah si sí, bueno uh, voy a I'm going to describe very shortly in Spanish what happened how the goal was um, porque se estaba atacando, estaban todas adelante y las chicas de Majo hicieron una defensa genial, o sea, recuperaron el balón la defensa y empezaron el contraataque tan rápido y fueron dos enseguida y ya vino una tercera y la, como que las chicas de Orca como que durmieron ahí un segundo porque entonces llegaron muy tarde y la chica había empezado el contraataque llegó a meter el balón apenas detrás de la portera que estaba bajando y casi y lo metieron en la, portera, en la portería vacía, o sea que eh, fue un gol muy lindo, fue una pena que justo se preparó la transmisión en ese momento. So I was explaining in Spanish how the, the, the goal that the Marcos did happen and it was they recovered the ball in the defense as the Orcas were attacking and they started a, a counter-attack very fast. Two went together, the third one came and Orcas kind of was sleeping for a second there. When they realized what was going on and they tried to go back, still the girl from Marcos had started the counter-attack manner to just 
put the ball behind the, the goalie in an open basket before the goalie could really position herself. It's a really beautiful goal, don't you think, Bea? <laughs> nice to watch what we see here. And sometimes I think I would like to be an octopus yeah. to be able to see <laughs> it from all sides by the same time, but that's not the way. Uh, who is uh, let's uh, uh, concentrate next game? It's coming up in five minutes. Ah, I'm going to I, I give um, Anita that knows uh, Barcelona very well. So <laughs> talk to you in a bit. Hello, so we're back at game 26. Thanks for skipping in, thank you very much, because um, I know the Barcelona team quite well. So we are going to read the team lists. Do you want to start with Black Mermaids? Yes, sure. Number two is Lilia Kaiser. Uh, number three is Carlton Linder. And number four is Helm um, Antonia. Number six is Davidson Senior. Number 13 is Blomberg Saga. Number 14 is Grant Elin. Number 15 is Isaacson Victoria. Number 33, Eriksen Eva. Number 83, Lindstrom Erika. Number 99, Price Mahari Mahairi. Yeah. So, and for the Barcelona team playing, we have number 3, Elia Santa Maria. Number 6, Aida Pairo. Number 7, Paula Moreno. Number 11, uh, Carolina Villalba. Number 12, Elisenda Andres. Number 14, uh, Carla Galano. 17, Karina Tosha. 20, Iris Balcazar. 21, Mar Pozo. Uh, 23, Silvia Miranda. 55, Alicia García. 77, Inés de Gregorio. Y 83, Giovanna Bautista. <clears throat> so I think it will be a really interesting game we will uh, have here. We have Barcelona seen very strong against London yesterday. They only lost 2-0. That's really oh, good. That's really good. That's actually really good. is my favorite team. Great. And they're strong. But 2-0 is also very, very good. That's really good. There was a chance to win and some options yes. to score also yep. for Barcelona. Yes. Great. So we see here Black Mermaids from Sweden, if you want to know where they're from, and Barcelona from Spain. And uh, they're gathering around. You see the Black Mermaids. I think they're less players than Barcelona. Barcelona brought substitute. Um, Ten players for, for the Black Mermaids. Yeah. So it will be a tough game either way. You see here the full? Oh uh, no, I think they're 13. Thirteen players for Barcelona. And that means they are full settled in the game. Full settled in the game and one next change player. Um, so black mermaids need to be strong because you just yes. less. Okay. Very interesting as you said. Great. Huh. What? Yeah. So we're back to switch microphones so I can also do the chat if you have any questions um, or anything else. We have some people from Barcelona watching, Aristides who was with us yesterday as well. And um, Andrea Posala and Bobby, who obviously is cheering for the Black Mermaids because his girlfriend is playing uh, Signe Davidson. Um, so I think it will be a very interesting game. About to the water referee isn't ready yet. So if you have any questions, uh, <laughs> uh, we have Colombo at...